Are we gonna teach people about corgis? So, are you thinking about getting a corgi and wondering how much corgis cost? Gatsby, how much did you cost? In 2014, when I got Gatsby, he was $800. What a ripoff! No, <laughs> I'm just joking. That was such a good price. So I thought we would do this experiment of seeing how much corgis actually cost. And so I went onto my Instagram and my Twitter and I asked you guys, how much did you spend on your corgi and what year? Gatsby, we got thousands of responses. Of course, as a PSA, if you are looking to get a corgi, make sure to look at local adoption agencies for corgis to see if there are any available. It took me a while to compile everything, but we finally did and I thought it would share the results with you guys. In order to account for outliers, for example, people who bought a corgi maybe from their friend for like $5 or something, I removed the most most expensive amount that somebody bought a corgi for as well as the cheapest amount for every single year. So over here in this chart you can see the price of corgis has increased. In 2010, 10 years ago it was $460. From 2010 to 2013 the price of the corgis pretty much stayed around the same. Then in 2014 the price did jump about $150. Then in 2015 the price jumped again about $200 to $1,000. And then in 2017, three years ago, the price jumped again another $200. In 2018 and 2019, they stayed about the same at about $1,500. And now this year, the price has jumped again to $1,666. And in order to account for wide ranges, we also calculated the standard deviation. When the standard deviation is really high, that means people bought it for all different prices. Using the standard deviation, I calculated the range of prices that you can expect to see a Corgi price at. And as you can see, in 2010, the prices for corgis were pretty much around the same price, $347 to $573. However, as you can see, as time has gone on, the price range of corgis has increased like crazy. So for today, you can expect to get a corgi from around $846 to $2,487. Like the range is pretty large there. And what that really tends to show is that a lot of people are just pricing corgis at whatever they want. I wrote down some factors that I found that can cause the prices of corgis to be different. For example, male versus female corgis. Female corgis tend to cost a little bit more than male corgis. The markings on a corgi can also determine the price. Black-headed corgis tend to cost a little bit more. This is considered a red-headed corgi. Yeah? <laughs> Gatsby, you're so cute. Your body is so cute. Guys, can you notice that Gatsby lost some weight? He's around 31 pounds now. Oh, nice. The next factor is whether they are AKC registered or if they have their papers. Also, whether the corgi comes from a championship line. That can, of course, cost more. Also, whether the corgi is a Pembroke Welsh corgi like Gatsby or a cardigan corgi. Age, puppies tend to cost a lot more than older dogs. Location, where did you get your corgi from? Different cities, especially cities with scarce number of corgis will, of course, cost a lot more. For example, I noticed that um, in New York City, the prices of corgis tended to be around $3,000. If you wanted to get a corgi in Hong Kong or Singapore, Australia, or even in Wales, it is a lot more expensive to get a corgi in one of those places. I saw that like just importing a corgi was like, someone said $11,000 that they spent for importing a corgi from Japan to Hong Kong. That's crazy! Another thing that can be a factor in price is are there other things that are included with the corgi? For example, is does a corgi come vaccinated, dewormed, are they microchipped already? All of those can increase the price as well as having the ability to breed. Of course there are other factors such as was the corgi the runt of the litter? Did you rescue the corgi from someone else? Those are all factors that can affect the price. There is a very very good benefit for going with a breeder. That is to help reduce the spread of the corgi disease called DM, degenerative myelopathy, which is fatal for the corgi. It is actually pretty common. A responsible breeder will test for this. You don't want DM to spread in the world. It's something that's genetic and it's something that can be stopped. I think that's the most specific one to corgis. Do your research. If you want to get a corgi, I have a few videos. I will put the links to them in the description below to go over 
why you should get a corgi or why you shouldn't get a corgi. Another thing I would highly suggest, as I mentioned before, try going online and searching for corgi rescues. From what I found, there are corgi rescue groups all over the place. Gatsby, thank you so much for helping me teach everybody about corgis. In the comments below, if you have a corgi, let me know if you were in that data range. I want to thank all the people for submitting their information to me to help me do this research. And let's get started with the vlog. Gatsby, it's your friend Corby's birthday. We got him some birthday chicken fillets, your favorite. We're gonna go to the dog park too with him. Finished the doggy birthday party. Corby turned four. Okay. Chicken, your goodie bag here. Let's look. Hey, hey. So the tennis ball and a sticker of the birthday party with Corby and Toast Malone. <laughs> it's a new month. <gasps> Ta da! Look at that. Look at Gatsby's expression. You have no idea how many takes it took to get this perfect splash like this. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, oh that was it. That was it. One of my favorite photos from the calendar. What song am I going to play on the ukulele this week? Let's see if you can figure it out. Today we are going to start on this puzzle here Woo, with Gatsby and his girlfriend Tenby sharing a watermelon to the puzzle here. Of course, the most important thing that you want to separate out is the edges of the puzzle. So everything along the edge and the corners because um, if you've never done a puzzle before, that's the thing that you always want to start on. It's the easiest part. Then I'm just going to go and try to separate out what I think is Tenby and what I think is Gatsby. Ta -da! I sorted it all out in 36 minutes. And I am jamming out to the Hamilton soundtrack. An hour and 20 minutes, so 44 minutes to do the frame. Okay, I got the watermelon part done over here, the green part. That didn't take too long. It took about 28 minutes to do. In an hour and 25 minutes, I was able to get this much done. Another 45 minutes, we got pretty much the whole watermelon done. I got worked on the nose, and right now we're working on the whiskers because those are pretty easy to figure out. Definitely this puzzle is a lot easier than the other ones <laughs> so far. Gatsby, Mr. Llama would like to say hi to you. Can you say hi? 
Hello, Gatsby. Oh my gosh! So right now I am driving over to the supermarket to grab some ingredients for dinner. I thought I had all the ingredients, but turns out I didn't. I got some chicken broth, some cumin. I wonder if I can just find tzatziki sauce here. Hmm, instead of making it. <laughs> no tzatziki sauce. I guess I'm gonna have to make it from scratch. But they have frozen string cheese. Frozen two string cheese. Okay, we made it. Time for us to head home and see what the corgi is up to. Gatsby, I'm home. <gasps> what happened here, Gatsby? What did you do? No one else was with the corgi when it happened. The corgi when it happened. The corgi when it happened. What did you do? Why are there all these toys here, Gatsby? We just assumed that it happened. But no one else was with the corgi when it happened. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. So for dinner today, I'm gonna make a recipe from the Instant Pot book. We're gonna make some chicken shawarma with tzatziki sauce, and we're gonna make it like a rice bowl. So the spices for the chicken shawarma. Okay, here goes. Two teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of allspice, and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that is our seasoning. So we're gonna slice the chicken into chunks. And add one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna take our spices, put it in the chicken. Okay, here we go. So we're just gonna thinly slice this. So next we're gonna take our Instant Pot, which is our pressure cooker here. First thing we do is select saute. Where's saute? Here it is. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I saw some basmati rice, so I'm gonna use that half a cup. Add the olive oil, the rice. Set a timer for one minute. All right, one minute. Now it says that you wanna pour a quarter cup of water. And we just cook it for 10 minutes now. Okay, the rice is ready. One teaspoon of turmeric, and then one cup of chicken broth. So it's already brought to a boil. So then we just reduce it to a simmer. 25 minutes. Starting now. Okay, so now that we have the rice going and the chicken going, we're gonna make cucumber, tomatoes, and our tzatziki sauce. Okay, so for our tzatziki sauce, you actually start with a cucumber. Squeeze out the excess juice from the cucumber. And one cucumber made that much. <laughs> I just happen to have mint. Okay, here's my basil plant. I have a mint plant here. Hopefully it grows back quickly. We have our mint, one garlic clove, and our lemon juice. Then we just add everything. Tzatziki is gonna be super nice and refreshing. Okay, one and a half cups of our Greek yogurt here. Okay. Oh wait, I had to add more ingredients, I forgot. <laughs> That's not it. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and then half a teaspoon of salt. I have another cucumber and more tomatoes. <laughs> I need a sharper knife. This knife is so dull. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. The rice is probably done. Let's check. Yeah. Oh. Mm, beautiful. Tomatoes, cucumbers. I mean, I like to just smother it over everything, but that's not gonna look pretty. So I'm just gonna put it like, I'll put it like right here. It was very complicated, but surprisingly easy. Pretty healthy too, because it was just pressure cooked. I have to sit on this side because my puzzle's right here. I would give it a seven and a half out of 10. So many spices. But then it cools down, of course, with the tzatziki sauce. It's not as delicious, I would say, as like street food chicken shawarma that's like done on a griddle. Because it doesn't have like that oily taste to it, which I like. This one tastes really healthy. It's still good. I'm just gonna open a little bit of mail. This is from Holly and Nick from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I got a $25 gift card. That's decorated with so many stickers. Happy birthday from Nick. From Ollie from Ireland. This is for you, Gatsby. Savannah and Kelly. That's a nice drawing. Let's check it out. Ooh, look at these. My name is Carson. During this time, I have taken a painting to kill time and just help me relax. Gatsby, you got another toy. More donuts. Oh my gosh. Gym bag, 
That's nice. I love Sour Patch Kids. Oh my god. And since I'm from Hawaii, we put like this alihing moi powder on it, like dried salty plum powder. We mix it with Sour Patch Kids. It's like the best thing in the world. My parents were like, what do you want for your birthday this year? And I was like, I want just like lihing moi stuff and um, lemon peel gummy bears. <laughs> That's what they sent me for my birthday. They're all from New Zealand. Oh my gosh, look at that. He is so excited for this. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Wait. You guys, thank you so much for all the stuff. You guys, so nice. All the time. Thanks for all the bir the birthday wishes in the last vlog. We're gonna be ending the vlog, but I do have a little bit of news on the merchandise. Before the next vlog, the tie-dye t-shirts should be out. Make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter at corgionfleek.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page and put your information in. I will be emailing out immediately when it comes out. So if you missed your chance last time, this will be your final chance to get the tie-dye Japanese corgi t-shirts. They're just gonna be tank tops, there's gonna be new colors, and there's gonna be youth sizes as well. The puzzle will be out hopefully within the next few weeks. It's been so busy, you guys. I really need to take a break sometime. Let's take a break. There's a lake I know in a nearby park. You and I could go when the night is dark. <laughs> oh my gosh, I watched too much Hamilton. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. It's Gatsby's birthday. Gatsby, happy birthday! Today 